And we're back, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. I'm still playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's just an amazing game. Working on the review. But I thought I'd do a little video praising the, the world's design. Because it's amazing. I'm currently visiting Sasau, and I think this is one of the best designed villages, towns you can visit in Kingdom Come Deliverance. As you can see, it consists of two parts of the town, one pa part on the south side of the river and one part uh, north of the river and what's interesting that's back in the day really the middle ages or sometime around there this is how cities grew basically alongside water because water like this river was a source of life really to clean, to drink from, to use for growing crops. So it's very organic to have um, the city situated right here, close to the riverbed, basically, alongside it, really. Um, so I'm just going to take you on this path. And what's also great is you see a lot of the, the clutter stuff. Like this, just random planks and wood and a, and a basket and this wheel. It feels all sort of random and all part of the game world. Some crap on the road. Some dudes hanging around. It's also quite natural to have a sort of an in place when you arrive hey, hey, to at a city. Right here you have the inn so you can have a drink, relax. It just looks fantastic this game. Look at the mud. And here's where we follow the path to the monastery in the distance. And you see these cows just sort of grazing and uh, minding their own business. You don't need fences in this game. <laughs> now, wh where, where should they go? I mean, also the draw distance in this game is just phenomenal also what's great I have to go back for that more shit on the road like as you're following the main path like this to the monastery because this is the main road there's this shortcut. And it's really very interesting that the developers took the time and effort to create this shortcut because that's what happens like organically when people move along the road they they have the tendency to to take a shortcut like this one. Cuz if you're going to the monastery, why follow this road like this if you can take this shortcut like this right that's what happens you know when people move alongside roads they create these shortcuts 
So everything here is so well designed. It's just incredible. It's, it's something that you just don't always think about as you play the game, but it is rewarding to like, you know, stop and smell the roses at times. Again, here's another one of those shortcuts. Goes up the hill right there. So these roads sort of organically exist. So there's shit here. So you know there's a lot of horses coming around following this road up to the uh, monastery. And I mean, look at the monastery. It's so well designed. Really beautifully done. I mean, look at this. And again, a lot of these, uh, a lot of clutter, this war is sort of chilling. A lot of wood. And this monastery is sort of under construction. I mean, look at this. It looks amazing. People working here on the wood. Also, this guy. I mean, look at this guy. Here in the service of Talberg. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. The I mean, look at this guy's head. With our brother, the overseer. What matter is it? I mean, this do? guy. It has to do with the stone for construction. The priest guy ah, looks. that's a matter of supply. You'll want to talk to the overseer. It's very ordinary, more old and stuff, but it's so well designed. Right above us. I mean, more you can. Go up the steps to you the can complain left, about the facial animations, actually, Almost just the, the moving way. of the mouth and so forth, but. Just how the guy looks. Can I take a look inside the monastery? What's got it? May the Lord watch over you. It's not a copy-pasted character or anything like that. So you see here people working on the wood. Really nice. Also, when we came through the entrance right there, in the distance, so a lot of horse shit, and for good reason, because um, the horses are right here. So nothing is just, you know, random, or there's been a, a lot of thought put into this game, obviously. And so in terms of world design, I just... I can't help but marvel at what the creator, the developer of this game, achieved here, accomplished. Fantastic, really. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, and uh, I'll continue my adventures in Kingdom Come Deliverance, and see you next time.